In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop the PA shot seams play out of the tight offset tight end in Madden 23. This is one of the best passing concepts in the game this year. I think it's going to be one of the hallmark concepts of passing in the years to come because I do think that tight is certainly becoming meta, not only in Madden 23, but I do foresee this becoming one of the best offenses for years to come. It's already been one of the better offenses, but I do think that uh, this year people kind of saw all of the power uh, within this formation. With that being said, I'm going to show you the best coverage defense to defend this formation, uh, specifically as it pertains to the PA shot seams uh, based offense that we're starting to see a lot of pro players utilize. And um, and let's let's get into it uh, again. Dollar three two is the defense. I think dollar three two is the best all around defense right now. If you want to get an updated version of my dollar defensive ebook, we just dropped it over in the Patreon. Uh, link is going to be in the description. Ten dollars will get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release uh, while your membership is active. So if you want to sign up, the link is down below. Auto flip, we're going to go off uh, baseline, auto alignment baseline. Now, the reason we want to turn auto flip off is because we want to be able to control where our coverage is going. And then uh, zone coverage, we're going to put this on match. You could put these curl flats on zero if you wanted to. Uh, but really, we're just going to have the zone coverage to match. Now, what I like to suggest to people, again, if you're running the dollar, uh, typically your number one blitz concept is DB Fire 2. If you come out in DB Fire, it is going to look different than if you come out in Cover 3 Cloud. So what I like to do or what I like to recommend is if you're wanting to do this, I would put Cover 3 Cloud in your audibles and audible into it uh, just so that you give the same pre-snap look every single play. But what we're going to do is we are going to flip our formation so that that light blue zone on the right side of that cover three cloud play is on the short side of the field. So in this example, uh, most people are going to run and run their tight offset tight end formation with their running back to the wide side of the field so that they can throw PA seams to the short side of the field. So what we want to do is we just want to flip that so that that light blue zone is on that left side. And then we want to choose DB fire two so that we come up with the same pre-snap look. And then we are going to audible into uh, cover three cloud. So you see, we still keep that pre-snap look of that defender on the left coming down. And then we're going to audible to cover three cloud. No one's going to know. We're going to move these guys or move these safeties down in the box. And then from there, like <laughs> this is pretty much set up. Um, the coverage defense really is pretty much set up. The thing that I would recommend um, is to blitz this slot cornerback just to give you some extra pressure. And then man this guy up onto the outside uh, type the uh, left side receiver there and then you're going to use her this guy over the center just like this and this is pretty much my very basic pa seams defense i think it's the best way to stop pa seams um and so what you're going to see we're going to pass commit and basically uh what will happen here is that outside third will run with that uh, deep corner route and then you have that man up and that cloud to play the shorter corner route so if you take a look here this is basically uh, just a roll coverage to the problem area and so what you'll see here this guy is bracketed with man coverage as well as a cloud so it's very difficult to throw this ball this player has deep out uh, or deep route ko this player has deep out zone ko so they're, they're really going to help each other on that and then this guy is basically isolated with your clear out route and he has deep out zone knockout so if they try to throw this ball over here while they, there's a window, because he has a KO ability, he is going to be able to take that away. And then if we look to the back side here, this seems strict to the tight end. This is why we want to bring that safety down, maybe even just a little bit inside, uh, so that he can have good leverage to play that with our user. And then if they run this outside guy, that outside third is going to handle uh, that route. Now, there's some other route combos that I do want to go over in terms of compression and some of the most popular things people are doing out of tight. Again, I cannot stress enough, move these safeties down. You want them to be about seven yards off the line of scrimmage. Then you're just going to man this guy up. I like to go ahead and put my user in a deep blue if I'm sending four. And then, like I said, we're going to pass commit. Now, the reason why we send four is because when we see when we send four, we're going to get really good sheds. The other thing is sometimes he'll just come in free. Real quick on this, I would bring this guy in over here just a little bit more so that he's inside of the tight end. Uh, just kind of a quick little uh, thing that I like to do. And then, like I said, you're going to use it right here. Now, uh, just for sake of illustration, I'm going to try to force this corner route to the left side. So you see here, I'm going to force this to the sideline. Watch that deep zone knockout. Really, really good. Now, if I leave that corner backed off, I'm going to show you something. This is one of the many reasons why we like to bring these corners down. So if I leave, or uh, I apologize, the safeties. So if I leave that safety back off, uh, just like this, 
I can freeform down and outside and they can't really play that with a KO as you can see. The the safety just for whatever reason they don't react as well. It's it, I think it's primarily due to the fact that what's happening in the Madden right now is the offensive players are moving a little bit better than the defensive players and it's causing a lot of issues. So you're seeing the sharp cut that triangle that slot is going to get you if this guy's backed off he won't react to it but if you bring him up now if you watch how this plays out we're gonna run the same exact concept and what you're gonna notice is now he is going to react i tried to do that same free form and that went from being a you know like a 30 yard completion to potentially an interception um the same thing is also true with the tight end so real quick if we did all those adjustments i was telling you about again our user is going to be down in this box so we might be trying to jump that 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 seam on the left side right so if that's the case, then what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a lot of high balls right in front of your face, and they're gonna throw those seam routes all day long. So the best way to counteract that is to, yes, it's to bring your safeties down in the box. So again, bring him down and inside, bring him down and inside a little bit, take away the seam streaks, man this guy up here, and then from there you can send four off of that right side. Now if I try to throw that same exact route that was killing me, you're gonna see now my guy's gonna make a play on the ball, he's gonna react to it, and it's gonna make this a lot more more difficult of a throw now another route combo that a lot of people like to run from this is a drag route uh, or, or um, I'm sorry is they like to run bench so if they're gonna run bench on you typically what that's going to mean they're not going to try to flood you on the right because they they, they don't have the spacing in the formation to be able to do so so you're going to see something that looks kind of like this. That outside third should play that every single time. Again, if you bring those safeties down in the box, they're going to deter those throws and funnel the throws. This is really important. We're trying to constrain the space on the field and funnel the throwing lanes to our help defenders. So in this example, where is our help to the right side of the field? Well, our help is to the sideline, right? The same thing is true over here. Where's our help on this corner route right here? Well, if we don't man this guy up, then we're really putting a lot of stress on that cloud flat. So again, defense is trying to constrain the space. Offenses are trying to create the space. And when you move your safeties down, especially in this Madden, it really significantly makes a difference, not only in your man ups, but it also makes a difference in your zone coverage in terms of how it plays. And you can also send four and get pretty decent sheds, decent pressure, and then you have a chance to pick off some seam streaks. So this is the best defense for PA shot seams. Very simple to shut down. If you know what you're doing, you are going to be able to stop this really popular passing concept. It's a really good passing concept. We're going to make our opponent play left-handed. Now, if you want to get the rest of my $1.32 defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. We've dropped several different versions of updates over the last couple of weeks to this defense, making it one of the better defenses in the game, if not just flat out the most versatile and best defense. Defense. So you can sign up for the Patreon by heading down to the description of the video and clicking the link down below.